I've installed a solar panel array in order to reduce our reliance on the petrol generator. So here's what we've done. My initial plans for the white container was to have it producing most of our power. This would be achieved by putting panels on the roof and batteries and a generator inside. I thought that the performance I was getting from the two panels on the white container was nowhere near as good as the single panel running the lighting. When I came to installing the panels at an angle on the white container, I started to notice some more details. There are trees that obscure the light, so I've got to rethink my plans. The most obvious solution to solve this issue is to put the solar panels on the kitchen. This photograph shows you why the white container isn't a very good place for the panels. In the morning a tree puts a shadow exactly over where my panels would, had been put on the roof. And by about half past two the whole roof goes into shade. And by contrast the first panel I ever put in is producing power from early in the morning till after five o'clock. I've built a prototype frame and I'm going to see how this works out. The frame uses a minimum amount of welding. I've used lots of nuts and bolts in order to make it modular and easy for me to put up on my own. A single panel makes fabrication and roof access very easy. However, the double panel gives me more electricity on my limited roof space. I'm happy with the way this has turned out, so I'm going to roll it out to the rest of the container and I'll show you how I've done it. The panels will go on the roof in a sawtooth arrangement, but this means that they're going to cast a shadow potentially on the panel behind it. So from early in the morning I started marking where the shadows came to and the time. If you look carefully at this photo you can see the times and where the shadow comes to. 1610 is my latest shadow. So now I'll show you how I put the rest of the panels up. I used a flapper disc to grind the paint off the frame of the container. I've bolted the bracket to the cross member so that it'll sit level when I'm welding it down. So it's welded and sprayed and then I put on the crossbar that will support the main panel. And for good measure I've painted them green. I've welded on three small upright posts and this holds a very simple hinge so that I can pivot the panels. I'm using 50 by 50 box section or right angle throughout the entire project and this means that everything's interchangeable. It also means I have stock on hand and this project allowed me to use up all of the little pieces I had lying around. And then I put on the rest of the frame. There are manufacturer's holes on the back of the solar panels. So I pre-drilled the wide buttons to match these holes. I bolt in the upright support and here's the frame up at an angle. The gap between the cross member and the bottom of the solar panel I've made big enough so that I can put a stormwater pipe. There's enough height clearance to allow me to create a tilt downwards over the length of the container. Each of the panels is 250 watts. So with eight new panels, that gives me 2000 watts of solar energy production. The next adventure will be wiring these panels through a solar controller. I'm really pleased with the way this is turning out. The container's starting to look a little bit contemporary. If you're enjoying these videos, you can see the entire project 
from start to where we are now at www.containerhouse.wordpress.com.